Hey guys, what's up? It's Duncan here, KH Fan, bringing you guys an album review in this time of the 2012 uh, release of Epic Cloud by Devin Townsend. Now, if you guys are not familiar with Devin Townsend, you've been clearly living under a rock. This guy has perform performed with the likes of Steve Vai and has done many solo albums, include and more notably his stuff with the band Strapping Young Lad, which sadly isn't around anymore, but I wish they were. Um, this was the follow-up to the double album that he released last year, um, uh, the albums Deconstruction and Ghost, both being completely opposite albums. Um, the Deconstruction being a very pretty heavy album, and then Ghost being a completely like atmospheric, mellow, ambient, if you will, type album, which I loved the hell out of both albums. Um, but did this one... Uh, follow up to those and honestly I think it did. It combines it sort of combines the two elements of deconstruction and ghost into one album and that's pretty much what else I could say about this record. I mean all in all I mean the, the what I the way I could describe this album is kind of like in the name of the album. I the only way I can describe it is it's epic. Um from begin from start to finish it's Mind, it's a mind-blowing album, to be honest. I mean, this, this is a very anticipated album from the last two that he released yet last year, and there's a lot of really awesome elements. Like, there's some obviously there's the heavy elements in the album. Um, there's a little bit of jazzy type elements in there, a little here and there in the album, and also there's very some very uh, melodic, calming, mellow sections in this album. Um, there's uh, high amounts of uh, female vocals in this album. Uh, her name was, I'm, I'm reading it from my, my computer, uh, Anek von Giersbergen. I can't speak German, but that was, that's who it is um, on, that performed the vo female vocals on this record. Um, I believe she did, um, she was also on one of Devin Townsend's other records, I believe. She was on... I mean, I'm not too, too familiar with, like, the stuff before Deconstruction and Ghost, but I know she uh, sang on a uh, song, By Your Command, which is one of my favorite Devin Townsend records. Uh, no, songs, never mind. Um, but, yeah, she's on it quite a lot in this record, and honestly, her voice is breathtaking, to say the least. Um, and the way I, I, I like how this album really starts out. It starts off with, like, a choir singing it on this first song Effervescent I can't, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right please correct me if I'm wrong um, and then it goes straight into True North which is also one of my favorite songs and then of course the song that everybody heard first which was Lucky Animals watching the video of Devin Townsend dancing like a goober like he is which there's nothing wrong with that <laughs> but yeah um Devin Townsend, my god, that, this guy can pretty much pull off any genre of music and make it sound amazing. Like, the guy could make a country record and it would be amazing. Like, nothing else could be as, nearly as good in country. Like, country sucks these days, but I think Devin Townsend would be the only one that could pull it off and make a great country record, even though he doesn't do country, and country sucks. That's just my opinion, anyway. Um, I mean, yeah, like I said, he could pull off anything. Um, his, his voice... His his voice is just ridiculous. I mean, the guy can sing really melodic, powerful, and he can still do all the growling stuff. I mean, the guy can do it all, basically. Um, the guitar playing on this album is really not complex at all compared to the other stuff. Like, it's still... It's it's more simplistic as compared to, like, Deconstruction or something. Um, so that's that. Um... The bass is a little audible in this album, I'd have to say. Um, the drums are very well played and intricate. Um, RVP, that's his, that's his name in the in, in the band, the drummer. Um, he didn't play on Deconstruction because he had, uh, I think it was uh, Dirk Verburen Buren of uh, Soil Work on that album. I'm not sure if he played on Ghost or not, but... No, I'm talking about, well, RVP played on Ghost, I think. I, I'd have to look at it. Um, but other than that, yeah, this this album simply, it's epic. I, I really really like it. I really enjoyed this album. It took me a few took me a few uh, listens to get really in depth with it. 
and I mean, I loved it with the first listen, and it just keeps getting better and better and better with each listen. If you guys are a fan of Devin Townsend, I highly recommend you get this. And before I forget, this actually just came out yesterday, um, so make sure you go pick it up. I know I'm going to pick it up as soon as I can. Um, so, yeah, if I was to give this score, I'd give this probably a 9 to a 9.5 out of 10. This was a very amazing and epic record. I mean, Devin Townsend, you seriously can't make a bad album even if you tried. Because if you tried, you'd still make it good. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to conclude this review. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Sub make sure to subscribe up there. Um, so, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace out and keep it metal.